ये राम मंदिर पे चर्चा करना चाहते हैं अच्छे अच्छे भाषण थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर स्पीकर सर फॉर अलाउड मी पार्ट इन द डिस्कस सभा का समय बढ़ा चुके हैं थैंक यू मिस्टर स्पीकर सर थैंक यू वेरी मच for allowing me to take part in the discussion on the motion moved by the honorable finance minister considering the white paper and on my substitution motion sorry on my substitute motion which i have already moved in the morning session sir my substitute motion is to disapprove the contents of the white paper on the following four grounds i would like to place it on record the four grounds by which i am moving for i have already moved this substitute motion so number one this is a political attempt to ignore the valuable efforts of the previous upa government and the contributions of the renowned economists scientists and experts of the country during the period 2004 to 2014 so to after 10 years of nda government in office making baseless allegations against the previous government is unfair improper unjust and against all basic tenets of parliamentary democracy you yourself you are a leftist if you are so proud of uh, upa government why did you withdraw the support in 2008 can you please enlighten us why did you withdraw the support definitely i will ask yes, my party and the left parties have withdrawn the support of the first upa government at the fact end of that government regarding the nuclear issue No, no, no. Yeah, we didn't support it. Doesn't it? I do agree. That is on the basis of a political question. We have withdrawn the support of the first NDA government, not because, not on the basis of any other reasons. That's why we, we are and now, after all, now we are become the part and parcel of Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, India. All the left parties are the partners. Formerly, we were. See, see. Pra, pra, You are the part of you. INDIA. What is happening in Kerala? Sir, I may. What is I happening may be, in Kerala? Sir, I will. I will. I will. Sir, I will elucidate. No, no. I will. I will. I will. I, sir, sir, sir. Speaker, sir. I will elucidate the question put by Honorable uh, Parliamentary Affairs Minister. You have to see the difference. During the time of 2004 to 2009, all the left parties were supporting the government from outside. They are not part and parcel of the UPA. now all the left parties are now become part and parcel of the indian national democratic inclusive alliance led by the indian national congress so that difference is there in kerala also yes kerala whatever bit see let lati charge on the congress workers by the left led government what is happening there what is the indi government what is the indi alliance I will explain. Abir da. See, see, see. Dear Prahlad Joshi ji, in the basic purpose and the basic intention of the formulation of India politics is to keep BJP out of power in the 2024 parliament election. So whatever, whatever be the outcome in Kerala, you see, it will be 20 out of 20. It will be belonging to the U, uh, in India, India alliance. No doubt about it. sir the third point which i would like to highlight is after 10 years of nda government in office pardon it is it is not required no, no it is it, no murali murali dharan murali dharan ji i will tell you i will i will i will tell you frankly I will tell you frankly the best. Sir, Tiruvannamthapuram mein kusti, Delhi mein dosti, ye problem hai. See, Kerala, the best strategy we have adopted is to keep BJP out of Parliament. From Kerala, it is better to have this position. That is a strategic position taken by the both the LDF and the UDF. No doubt about it. Yeah, it is a political. Yes, it is a political please, strategy, please. and yes, it is absolutely a political strategy. There is no point of difference in this, sir. In sir world, what is happening with Ajit Pawar and what is happening with Nitish? So many contradictions within the NDA also. So, so sir, my right. time is going. Sir, during the ten years of NDA, sir, during that, 
sir. Please. Sir, during the 10 years of NDA government, country had experienced exponential growth of unemployment, inflation resulting price rise of essential commodities and increased actual poverty. Shifting the blame to the previous government for abysmal failures of this government and thereby evading its own responsibility is not proper. And the fourth, NDA government in power for 10 years have devastated the country's economy and agriculture sector, abetted crime against women and committed grave injustice to minorities. These are the four reasons by which I would like to appeal the whole house to disapprove the white mo sorry, the motion for approving the white paper moved by the Honorable Finance Minister. Sir, what is the main intent of the white paper? Most of the honorable members have already explained in detail. This white paper is issued whenever there is a confusion, when there is some cloud of suspicion, some clarity is required so as to explain the position so that the people will be getting best transparent knowledge about the political situation or the economic situation. Sir, in the presidential speech as well as the budget speech, and also the reply to the presidential speech by the honorable prime minister, as well as the prime minister, they are, they are very confident even, even the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister is very confident that BJP will come back with the 400 in number. So what is the confusion among the BJP and the NDA front? What is the reason by which a white paper is brought to this parliament? By which, what is the intent, what is the bona fide intention of your, because there is no confusion. You are overconfident that you will come back. The economy is in a better position and India will become the third largest economy by 2029. If you are very hopeful and confident of all these political situation and the economic situation, what is the things to be disclosed to the public by means of this white paper? It is totally untimely. It is well and good if you have made this white paper at the time of assuming the office in the year 2014-2015. That was the right time by which you can bring a white paper so as to explain what are the failures of the government during the 10 years of the government from 2004 to 2014, led by Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji. Instead of doing it, after 10 years you are in office, doing all these things, coming with baseless allegations against the government, which was in office 10 years back means it is lacking bona fides, it is with an intention to go to the political allegation against the government which has done in a good way during the last 10 years. And another point, another reason I, I, I expect is that it is nothing, you are very much apprehensive about the ground reality. The ground reality among the electorate is different than that of the rosy picture you are given through the white paper as well as through the budget as well as in the presidential speech. What are the ground realities? You are very apprehensive about the electorate regarding the essential elements or basic elements regarding the exponential growth of unemployment. So the independent India has never seen such a growth of exponential growth of unemployment. So the spiraling price rise of petrol, diesel, cooking gas and other essential commodities due to inflation and actual poverty is increasing. These are the three basic issues the common ordinary people, the majority of the people are facing. You are very much apprehensive about it. So you want to shift the responsibility, you want to shift the blame to the previous government which was in office 10 years back and which was in power 10 years ago. That is the real intention of the government in bringing such a wise paper. It is absolutely the failures of the government now in office because regarding these three issues. Sir, regarding the guarantees, I would like to state something. Sir, further you are worried about the apprehensive, you are apprehensive and worried about the assurances which you have given in 2014 parliament election and 2019 parliament election. What were the assurances and guarantees given at the time by the BJP? The number one is black money stacked in foreign countries will be brought back and rupees 15 lakh will be deposited in every household account. That is one promise which was made in 2014. And two, two crores of employment every year. Petrol diesel price will be brought back to rupees 50 per liter and cooking gas price will be brought back to rupees 320 rupees and double the income of farmers by 2022. Housing for all, water for all. What, what happened to all these warranties which you have already mentioned and assured to the public? At large, nothing has been happened. 
as far as these issues are concerned there is no proper statistics and there is no proper review in the white paper those you have already mentioned when we talk about the achievements of the nda government in power for the last 10 years and coming to the white paper sir coming to the white paper i am we are ready to have a comparative study of the upa government of 10 years as well as the nda government of 10 years it has already been by the opening speaker manish tiwari ji has very clearly categorically given the statistical data so the one main sentence in the white paper i quote the decade of the upa government was a lost decade because it failed to capitalize on the strong foundational economy and pace of reforms left behind by the vajpayee government unquote this is the observation made in the white paper sir if you go through the comparison between the vajpayee government and dr manmohan singh government all the fiscal norms and the fiscal indicators it can be very well seen that the performance was much better sir the gdp and so many other issues and also one point just now supriya sule ji has mentioned that just to the statistics i would like to mention sir when you allocate the money for the each and every portfolio or departments or the ministries that has to be compared on the basis of the total plan outlay now if you examine manrega manrega if you compared with the total plan outlay or budget outlay it has declined from 1.8.85% in finance year 2014-5 it has declined to 1.33% and so many in the healthcare sector and so many, almost all the sectors so i am not going to all these details so sir and also regarding regarding the performance of the that, that government sir the indian the legislative history of indian parliament has never seen such a revolutionary legislation which have happened during the time of the manmohan singh government that is right to information act the right to information act that is why you could get the information most of the information and can file cases against the upa government at the time because of the revolutionary change took place in the democratic process of india right to information act right to do education as a fundamental right right to forest act manrega food security act all these would go to shows that though the government is having minimal majority and nominal majority the government has performed in a good manner instead of appreciating the wonderful performance of the previous government of upa during that period 2004 to 2014 making blaming making blames and allegations against that government after 10 years in office he is not proper just since the white paper is lacking bona fides with a bad intention to defame the previous government i appeal to the house to disapprove the white paper and the motion moved by the honorable finance minister be disapproved and i appeal to the house to approve the motion moved by me today in the morning with these words i conclude thank you very much sir mani vittamanti ji